Over a decade ago, 4G laid the foundation for the smartphone revolution. Thanks to this broadband technology, we can surf the internet at high speeds, watch films and make video calls almost everywhere. But times and needs are changing. Every year or so, the volume of mobile data exchanged doubles. And new types of smart devices are on the horizon. From fridges that can order your groceries, to postal drones, to self-driving cars. That's why a new generation of network is needed. One that is faster and more reliable. One that can deal with many more devices. In Switzerland, there are three network providers. Swisscom and Sunrise began building 5G networks in 2019. SALT followed a little later. To transmit data wirelessly between devices and cellular towers, 5G uses radio waves that are tuned to specific frequencies. The frequencies allocated for 3G, 4G and now 5G are in the 700 MHz to 3.8 GHz range. The Swiss authorities could decide to allocate much higher frequencies of 20 GHz and above, so-called millimetre waves. These high frequencies will help to unleash 5G's full potential. Millimetre waves enable wireless transmissions with a large bandwidth. This is particularly important in densely populated areas with high data traffic. But because millimetre waves travel by line of sight, buildings, walls or trees can block them and weaken their signal strength. One way to overcome these obstacles is to build a denser network of smaller antennas. These so-called adaptive antennas can direct the signals to where they are needed. This is why the exposure to 5G radio waves is lower than with 4G. And the new 5G technology can connect many more devices, up to 1 million devices per square kilometre. On a 5G network, a device reacts within a few milliseconds to data it receives. By comparison, a human blink takes around 100 milliseconds. This extremely low latency is necessary for self-driving cars, for example, that need to communicate their reactions to other vehicles. But the rollout of 5G is not without risks and concerns. Back in 2019, the European Commission and European Union Agency for Cybersecurity cautioned against relying on a single supplier for 5G infrastructure, especially from outside the EU. Mobile network providers can avoid technological dependencies and limit the risk of espionage and sabotage by using multiple suppliers. Swiss network providers are free to decide where they want to source their infrastructure and assess the risks themselves. In the EU, however, a limitation of the use of network elements could be legally introduced when there's a risk of an authoritarian state being involved. It's unclear whether Switzerland will implement a similar law at some point. Where does Switzerland stand in terms of 5G network expansion? Like in most European countries, Switzerland's 5G network is still based on 4G core infrastructure. That's called a non-standalone network. This has the advantage that less investments are required, which speeds up the rollout. But the potential of 5G cannot be fully utilised. China and the US, for example, are already implementing standalone 5G networks and can therefore make progress in new applications, such as self-driving cars. Switzerland could fall behind.